Clive. There's got to be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. No. By we, you mean me, right? Yep. Like I said, I need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Me too. Yeah, me too. Bruh. Okay, big boy Bruh. pants. We're going down. Big boy pants. Watch out for the cheese. The cheese. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe he's outside. We're next. <laughs> oh no, the fuck is Zoe Scoob? Zoe Scoob? Where did he go? Was it here? The base. The base? That was. Yep, those are still there. Dead flies. What if the he's sick in that room? Wait. What Maybe. You, what'd you say? The sick bastard collects flies as trophies. This always here? Oh, that scared me. I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Dead dummy, pay attention. You dumb fuck. Wait, what was it to? <laughs> it the the locked door by the stairs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. To clarify, I wasn't calling Sarah a dumb fuck. I was calling the main character a dumb fuck. Give me some warning before yelling down the intercom. Do I? Sorry. What have you found, Forrest? Buzz the intercom. Your mom. Find something and want to discuss it. I think I need to Why keep looking. Why is this looking. down here? All right then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Thank you. You said that already. God. God damn it, Peggy. Oh. <laughs> Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map and a map. Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Bruh. Where? There. Oh, I didn't even see that. The light. Killer's got a sexy voice. <laughs> Was it actually Clive? Has Clive really bum, bum, been the bum. whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. Hmm. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. Okay, so it looks like it's like... Right there. How convenient. Good job. Yeah. You should like look to your left. That's your right. There you go. The left. Nope. Nope. That's the right. What? This way. The left. Yeah. 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 There's nothing. No. Oh. What? Are you sure there's nothing? Bro, what? Besides a strobe light. Did you see something? I'm just, no, I'm just fucking with you. Oh my god. I'm already scared. I'm at the edge of my seat, bro. <laughs> the time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. The degree of 
Who drowned? This indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That puts the time of death. Cool. I don't think Clive is the OG whistling man. I think it's like. I think they're doing the Silent Night remake where it's like. You know, his son or something. Who knows? Small lacerations to arms, legs, and the base. This looks useful. Whoa, Nelly. Running through foliage, severe blistering to the feet, as though the deceased had been running without stopping. Okay. I need a box in the way. I don't think I was supposed to What the hell? Is he gonna chase me? I don't have the running Yeah, power. probably. I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the box in the way? Oh, I think it's over here. Where'd the box say? No, 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 no. Over here? No? Hello? Can you zoom it up for me real quick? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Right. Yeah. Hey, I have a game that we should play. Silent Hill. Oh. Gosh. Am I... Oh, here we go. There it is. It's like a maze in here. See, that's the point when he starts chasing you. Goodbye. <gasps> no, we're missing lore details! You have captions! I wish you could take over, like, just have your mouse connected somehow, and then you play. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna make you play Silent Hill. No. <laughs> yes. Where is the one go to the go to the go to the area where you have to crawl. Oh. I don't wanna. Crouch. Hmm. Maybe that is it. Alright. Well, progress forward. Dumpty Dumpty! Guys! Yeah! Woo! If this was real, I'd be watching this my, the whole time. <laughs> I'll be like this. On the table. How do you know he's not in the filing cabinet? I'll punch him. Ugh. <laughs> Whoever the hell you are. 
<laughs> Did you hear me scream? Barely. What the it was hell? Like a, <laughs> Peggy is not gonna believe this. Fuck. <laughs> Save it for the end. No, my mic doesn't let me scream. I was gonna do a funny little scream and scare you. He's gonna be like right here. Like an outlast. Stop, I'm not good at this. Oh my god, Sarah, Sarah, he's coming! He's coming! <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, run! Run! I actually don't know where I would go if I had to run. Hey, Peggy! Peggy! What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. <laughs> Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Poor George. Poor George. He's so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear <gasps> like I recognize curious, the George? talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape that talks more about how George died. What did it say? I don't like the silence. Sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes. Getting cut up all over. Uh, it's not that bad. Find someone to do that. I'm not sure yet. There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. <laughs> the written report I found doesn't mention it at all. <laughs> How did his arm get trapped in a car door after he died? Unless he got it when the police collected his body. I guess someone else must have moved him after he was dead to where he was eventually found. But the report, what is going on here? I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier. Sandra Sharp. Sandra. The jazz runner? That's right. She found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah. Reservoir? What's strange about that? George it's all a conspiracy. <laughs> but there's no forest around there. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. But that's what the police report said. <gasps> It's not possible, though. I did a school project on reservoirs and got an A. But, yeah, not important right now. The important thing is that it doesn't make sense. What are you suggesting, then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report suggests? Oh, yeah. That the sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip? Something like that. I think. Well, Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. If he hadn't been eviscerated, we could have asked him. True. But Sandra is still alive. Once we're done down here, we should give her a call. I, um, I think I found Clive's last recording. Hey, you found everything. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but for playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the Whistling Man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? You know? We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know, but Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that... The murders were all folks who knew about the incident. And the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save them. Ugh, why didn't he just come out with all of them? Oh, no. <laughs> he said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you killed all those people. Do you think you found everything, Forrest? I think there's got to be more down here. I need to find all the tapes. Bruh. So, 
How much did Clive mm -hmm. hide down there? Well, if there are more tapes, then there must be more maps to follow, right? That seems to be the case. All right, then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. <laughs> um, I guess just one more quick look around. Unless the game is... So we did this one. Yeah, that's the first one. But it's taking me to the first one. This is it, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's no one and then the there. second one was over to your left. I keep hearing something. Like what? Like the door. Well, I open this. No, like the door door. That door? Yes, the one that you didn't close. I closed it. Are you sure? Yeah, I went back. No. That was that. Yeah. It is important to put it down. Oh. What the hell? It's that closing. Yeah. I think this is important in my hand. Uh, please charge the coat. Change the codes. Um, maybe there's like a secret ending with this. Yeah, I don't think there's another tape. Yeah, we did that. One. Oh, the thingy, the thingy, thingy. Um. Alright. Uh, Go to the crawl space. Oh, that's what about that thing? That looks important. Yeah. I can't push anything. Oh. Oh. Bro. Hey. Oh, I just missed that one. Now this has to be important. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Okay, I will take picture. Just in case. Okay, I took a video. Okay, now was I supposed to go over here, or should I just go back to Peggy? I think that was the last one. And then it was supposed to send me over here, which I've already heard. Yeah. Can I just go back? Yeah. Another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit where the coroner thinks he was moved post death. So she agrees with us. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded the doctor, uh, Dr. Sullivan, to stop recording. Dr. Sullivan? Wait, Virginia Sullivan? She was her caller from earlier. Yeah, she was well, she was the one that was like play the tape. Was involved in the conspiracy around this boy's uh. death. We need to call her back once we finish down here. It looks like she might know something about what's going on. I found a written autopsy report. <laughs> According to that, <laughs> just like you said at the start. 
George drowned. Sir, we have to figure this out. Oh, also, I found a written autopsy report. That contradicts the tapes. I know, and I think I know why. There's a note with a report that says, "I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia." If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. Wait, the caller from earlier, when we had to call the takeout restaurant, wasn't her name Virginia? Possibly. You think you found everything? I think so. Forrest, what's going on? I don't on remember. Here? Someone I don't know. wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Uh, come back upstairs when you're ready. We need to figure out our next step. Thank you. Three o'clock. Ooh. Thank God I think this goes to five a.m. I've been running no out way. of stuff to pad our airtime. Yeah. With. Peggy, you work in Radio. Of Freddy's? Forrest, I'm stressed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really? How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? It's our job, babe. <laughs> this is our job, Peggy. We, we gotta do it. Oh, you're right. So, what's the plan now? I think we should call Virginia back. All right, I'll get her on the line. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Hello again, Gallows Creek. Like this is music. Forrest Nash. We're circling closer to the truth behind tonight's events. To this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers, Virginia Sullivan. Oh, jeez. Fredman Plunker here? Who's this? Is it you? Goose? Which one? Sure. Plunker, it's Goose. still okay. Oh, Forrest. Sorry, I'm still jumpy. Um, we need to talk. Sorry to hear that, but listen, hey, we need to talk. <laughs> Sorry, listen. What about? We're calling because we think you can help us understand why this is happening tonight. Me? What would I know? Does the name Clive mean anything to you? Clive? No. I don't know that name. What? What are you asking about this for? You mentioned that name earlier when you called us the first time. I don't know what I said then. I was petrified, Forrest. Clive's the janitor at our station, and we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. He'll come for me. Virginia, it's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. We dead? think. But isn't he? He's the whistling man, Forrest. What the fuck? I don't know. No, the whistling man is me. This one, I guess. Yeah. Why are you so certain Clive's the whistling man? Because he, all those years ago, he. It's okay, Virginia. He's gone. 
We found evidence to suggest he... Well... And we found your autopsy reports for George Barrow. How? I saw him destroy them. Well, he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what, but we found them. And we know it's related to what's happening tonight, which is why we called you. Why did you write a false report? I... All right. One day, I came into work to find a... a boy on my slab. And as I finished the autopsy, this man, Clive, he just burst in and he started making demands to give over the reports, to falsify what I found. Of course I said no, but, well, when someone wants to make you do something, they can use the carrot or the stick. For me, he used both. You see, my sister is sick. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. It's expensive to treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford it. And Clive promised me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment if I did what he said. And that if I ever spoke about this, oh, no. he'd beat me to within an inch of my life. I don't know why he had me do it, but my sister... Well, good thing you're on air. You have to understand. <laughs> good thing he's probably listening. Me. We understand. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Virginia. That was brave. That was so God, brave. I just want this nightmare to end. How was so this brave? This ended, Virginia. Thank you. Stay safe, Virginia. So, Virginia is tied up in all of this. Clive threatened her to keep quiet about George's death. But for who? Why cover up these details? But why? <laughs> well, we know Sandra was involved in George's death. Do you want to call her? I do. All right, but before we go asking questions, I think we should know what we want to ask. Is that fair? Yeah, mm -mm. we need to ask her about finding the body. She was the one who discovered it, but something just doesn't add up. A hundred percent. She knows more than she's saying. I wonder what she's hiding. We'll hopefully find out soon. Anyway, just be careful when you're talking to her. Don't push too hard. We don't want her to hang up. I'll be careful. All right, calling her now. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. Shoot, what are we doing? Um, uh -huh. doing Where's stuff. Hello, this is Sandra at Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studio. Who is this? Hello again, Sandra. It's for Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And you're live on air. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. How jazzy. What can I do for you? Uh, well, <laughs> we're trying to understand what's behind the attacks tonight. We had a few questions. Why, Forrest, of course. Heck, after the way you saved my life, I'd say yes to just about anything you ask. Oh. Oh. Be serious. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why the whistling man might have targeted you? Ha! As far as I can tell, he was just a knife-wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. He'd have chased after anybody. Right. Well, we think he might be chasing specific people. People who know about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Liar! <laughs> You found the body. Sandra, we know you found George's body. We have the police report. I... I don't know what you mean. Don't be mean. Come on. Don't be mean or be mean. Don't be mean. We need, we need to figure this out, Sarah. People are dying. So should I say this? Yeah, sure. It's okay, Sandra. We know. You do? You know about? Uh, yes. Of course. This studio is my life. After I found the body in the river, 
I couldn't lose my studio. Do you understand? Yes. Sure. I understand. No, I don't. I just kept going up. He said he'd stop if I just needed to keep quiet. And everything will be okay. Who is he? Sandra? Who was he? He was... He said, if I told everyone I found the kid in the reservoir instead of the river, he... He... Uh... I'm sorry. Oh. I can't do this. And she's gone. I don't think that could have gone any better. You truly did great for Thank us. Thank you. Well, folks, if see, you gotta believe me, Sarah. What's you going just on gotta tonight? Believe. Please call in. That's good timing. We've got a call waiting just this second. Oh, I wanted to play music. 